Hey guys, what's up? Lumpy Ice Cream here. No Tim. Uh, I just thought I'd sit down and do a um, uh, fan feedback video. Uh, as anyone who's watched our videos knows, Tim is going to Melbourne for a few days. Uh, so the only video, well, there's no, there's going to be no um, Star Wars review or Arrow and Flash recap this week. Um, next week we'll bring you four videos. Um, first up, we'll be doing a commentary track for A New Hope. Then we'll be doing a commentary track for Empire Strikes Back. Then we will be doing the Flash and Arrow recap. We'll be recapping both of the episodes we missed, or this, this week's episodes and next week's episodes. And then the reaction video, which will be done over Skype. Uh, Phoenix Fire is going to be joining me for that one. Uh, we'll also, and Tim will be on Skype with us. Well, not Skype, it's Google Hangout. Um, so hopefully that goes off nicely. There's no problems with that. Fingers crossed, we can only hope. Um, he's going to come up Wednesday and we're going to test that out. Um, but yeah, Tim's very busy these next few days so uh yeah first of all little a few channel updates our magician's apprentice video has just broken 10,000 views when i checked it last night thank you so much to everyone who clicked on that video who took the time to watch it um who took the time to like comment um and to subscribe to our channel i know we say it almost all the time, but we sincerely mean it. Thank you from the bottom of our hearts. And I know Tim isn't here to say this, but I know he feels exactly the same. Um, it's been a blessing um, from someone who's been doing YouTube for over two years and um, to get, to have this channel blow up as in a few months of having it. It's really phenomenal. I mean, words just can't describe how grateful I am to everyone who's taken the time to pay attention to this channel and to the 58 people who have been entertained enough to subscribe. I thank you. Um, to the people who have stuck with us from the beginning to, f to any point in between, thank you so much. So let's get into a little bit of fan feedback on the... <clears throat> Sorry, clearing my throat. It's been like this all day. It's really weird. Um, getting to heaven sent. First, my thoughts on this episode. Phenomenal. 10 out of 10. I've watched it twice. Um, Capaldi is my favourite doctor now after this episode. Having 55 minutes to work you know, by himself, working with an actor who oh has no dialogue. God. Shut the fuck up, Joel! Where was I? Um, <clears throat> but yeah, working with just an actor in a suit, which I can't remember the name of the actor, but he played Colin Isaf in Magician's Apprentice, so kind of nice that they got him in for this. Um, and then with Jenna Coleman for just that little bit but even then it's just in his head so it is literally just this character for pretty much the whole episode in terms of dialogue and that final moment when he's just repeating himself again and again doing the same stuff it's been pointed out to me that if everything else resets why doesn't the wall reset yeah, okay, I can see that, but I'm just going to ignore that because everything in this story, I think, was immaculately done. Capaldi is phenomenal in the role. I would say he's the best actor to portray the role. Um, my favourite Doctor before this, I've said in the past it was Tom Baker, but I kind of changed my answer to John Pertwee just because he was my first Doctor 
And I truly think he embodied what it was to be the Doctor and to be a hero in general. But Capaldi, oh my god, he's blown it out of the water in less than two seasons. He was good last season, but this season he is the Doctor without a doubt. If you aren't sold on Capaldi by now, what's wrong with you? I'm sorry, but quite frankly, what is wrong with you? Um, okay, so yeah. 10 out of 10. Is it my favourite of the season? I can't say until I've seen next week's episode. That's how I judge two-parters. I do not... I do not... I can give them scores out of 10, but I can't judge a full story without its second part. Sorry, that's the way it works. Um, based off this alone, it's going to be really tough just picking which one was better, Magician's Apprentice slash which is Familiar or Heaven Sent. I honestly can't tell you guys. I'm, oh uh, my mind, it's all it's all up to next week. Hellbent has so much riding on its shoulders. I'm gonna, I'm gonna spoil the recap. <clears throat> yep, I'm gonna, I'm just gonna spoil the recap right now. This is already my favorite season of any season of Doctor Who. It was. It, or series, if you want to be precise. Um, this, uh, it was previously season 13, which had, like, Pyramids of Mars, um, Brain of Morbius, a lot of good stories in that one. Um, but this, there are not many bad episodes in this season at all. Sleep No More, eh, Girl Who Died, Eh, they're probably the weakest of the season, if I can be honest. And that's kind of ruining the recap. So I'm just going to shut up there. And to correct myself, <laughs> this, the, re the reaction to Hellbent is happening next week at the start. It's happening Sunday. And then after that is... The Sunday after that will be our... Fucking, what's it called? <laughs> uh, season recap. Series recap. Series 9 recap. There we go. Long story. Got there in the end. Fucking, let's get to some comments. Want to hear from you guys. All right. Our first comment. Oh, I'm going to fuck this name up. Ravier, Na Ravier Nancy. R-A-V-I-E-R-E -E -E, Nancy. Hello, sorry if I butchered your name. How are you? Uh, and they commented, when he said the hybrid is me, I think he's talking about a shielder. Um, mm, I can see where you're coming from. I don't necessarily think that's the case. Um, I mean, I'd have to go back and watch the episodes... Uh, when I, I'd have to go back and watch The Woman Who Lived and Face the Raven. But I think the Doctor never called her me. He always called her a shielder. And sure, he could say me at this stage just to distract them. But if if they do that, it'll be very... It, it'll be a cop-out, I think. Here's two ways I can see them doing it. I can see them going with the half-human thing. The whole Doctor's human on his mother's side thing. Um, and as we'll get to it later, some people have pointed out that that was explained in, like, either Big Finish or a comic book. I think it might have actually been a comic book. That that was a ploy to deceive the Master. Um, I don't understand why that would have been a ploy to deceive the Master. Um... Because it doesn't make a lick of sense. Like, why would the Doctor being half-human be anything to the Master? He wouldn't, he wouldn't give two shits, probably. I, I just don't see that explanation panning out. And I think it was in a comic book, so not canon. Um, I mean, if you want to believe comic books are canon, go right ahead. More power to you. But, um... Yeah, in my mind, the only things that are canon are what are express explicitly stated in the series to be canon, right? F quite frankly, 
that's only the show and Big Finish because Big Finish was confirmed in Night of the Doctor. So those are the only two things that are canon in my mind. Um, but believe what you want to believe. Uh, so, or the Doctor just said that to kill time and he's not the hybrid. Or one thing I said to Phoenix Fire after we were done recording was, what if the Doctor's mother was a sister of Khan? No? Maybe? I don't know. But, um... See, there's something I want to talk about but at the same time, I don't, because I don't want to get it too spoiler heavy in, for Hellbent. But it has to do with the cast and specifically who's in it. If you know, please continue watching. If you don't care, it's a character we've seen before. That's all I'm going to say. Uh, so if you want, pause the video if you don't want to know or mute it. <laughs> mute it, don't pause mute the video and I'll give you a thumbs up when it's safe to listen again. Okay? Good. The woman from End of Time is going to be in this episode. And if you have read back the whole um, behind the scenes thing, I keep saying backstage because I was in theatre. I've done theatre work before, so... <laughs> it's a common thing. But behind the scenes, you'll know that the woman is supposed to be the Doctor's mother, but RTD left it open so anyone can pretty much speculate on what she is. So, and we've seen the woman, and uh, I've seen a picture, supposedly it's the woman, with the Doctor in the barn from his childhood. So, the barn from Listen and um, Day of the Doctor. So, that's going to be another thing um, for the third season in a row. Nice. Um, but, yeah, uh, we've seen our Time Lord President, a new one. Is this Rassilon? Because here's my thing about it. Missy being alive, to me, means Rassilon has to be dead. Because the way those two ended things, the way it ended with them, the Master zapping Rassilon, Rassilon apparently on the ground dying, I guess, well, on one knee or whatever. I think he was on one knee. Rassilon has to be dead if the Master's alive, slash Missy. And it, um, so it's going to be, you know, cool to see what's, gonna, what's ha been happening on Gallifrey. Because apparently Gallifrey has... Gallifrey, even though it was locked in the... Frozen in a different universe, it still continued to go on because, you know, of Time of the Doctor, they gave the Doctor more regenerations. So they would have had to have been living their lives outside of the universe, not frozen in another universe. So, um... Yeah, thank you for your comment. Uh, I can definitely see where you're coming from with the whole hybrid is me thing. Uh, I think it might just be a bit too much of a cop-out. Um, sorry. I'm not shitting on your opinion. Um, I can see where you're coming from, but... Yeah. Uh, next comment is from Annie Who Cares. Hello, Annie. They say, The only trouble I've... With the... I... Uh, the only trouble I, I've... With... I think... Yeah, sorry, it's just hard for me to read... Um, I'm not saying you're stupid, uh, just saying it. it. I mean, I know, I definitely know, uh, it's hard to type. Uh, the only trouble I have with the half-human theory is that Donna said to them, 10th double doctors, as she became the Doctor Donna, you're lacking that tiny bit of human. So, where on should that now all of a sudden come from? Uh, don't understand that last part. But yeah, um, some people have speculated it was the only... Uh, I mean, that is the stupid thing of them trying to reboot the series. 
Um, because if you've read anything about what the TV movie was, it was a backdoor pilot, basically trying to get the ser a new series off the ground. And it was going to delve into the Doctor's background, and he was going to have, um, you know, his mother would be from Earth, and, like, it would be basically the quest for his father or something. Thankfully, that didn't get off the ground, because that sounds so stupid. Oh, and the Master was going to be his brother, so... Stupid. Cliché. Um, so... Yeah. Oh, I'm not... And, by the way, I'm not saying that was the first attempt that they've made to make the Master of a Doctor's brother. It's happened before. Um... With Delga Delgado and Ainley. I'm not going to get into that. Long story. If you want to know, let me know. Um, but I think... And I think some people say that it was only the eighth Doctor who was half human. Like that particular form was eighth... Half, was half human. Um, but I guess that's just a little bit of inconsistency. Because... I guess when you get different writers, some might want to explore plot points and some won't. Obviously, I think Russell T. Davies, with like most fans, dismissed the whole half-human thing. I can understand that. But, yeah, um, I think that throwaway line, you're lacking that tiny bit of human, doesn't matter anything. Um, there have been bigger mis- Mis uh, um, misconceptions in Doctor Who, that that's kind of a little line. Plus, you could just see it as not biologically human, mentally human, because, you know, the Doctor's been very alien, except for the... Well, the Tenth Doctor was pretty human with his emotions. I don't know where this is going, guys. Um, but, yeah, thank you, Annie, for your... Um, for your... Um, Comment. All right, the next one comes from Electric Maestro. So, the first Doctor left Gallifrey because of fear, not boredom, question mark. Yeah, um, I guess so. Uh, <laughs> sorry, I don't know what to tell you, Electric Maestro. Thank you for your comment, but yes? I don't know. Well, um, Electric Maestro got a few replies. So let's go into them. This com uh, this reply comes from Silent Gamer 2015. Hello, Silent Gamer 2015. Uh, he left knowing that being half human and half Time Lord, addressed in the Doctor Who movie, the Americans made. Uh, he is a hi hybrid. Check your spelling. Nah, it's all good. I don't care. Um, destined to rule Gallifrey from the ruins which is now since the Time War reduced them to ruin. I don't know. Uh, they're not in ruin. They're not in ruin in the slightest. Um, Gallifrey looks better than ever, if you ask me. Uh, and it seems he just punched into the pocket universe using the confession dial. Took him, what, two billion years? That'll be a tongue twister. My name's the Doctor. I'm a Time Lord from Gallifrey. I am two billion two hundred and one years old. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, um, I think time in the confession dial, maybe, for those Dragon Ball Z fans out there, I think it might kind of be using hyperbolic time chamber logic, that time passes in there, but not as much time, or any time at all passes out there. Um... So, um, yeah, the whole escaping the... Okay, so here's what I think. Um, I think he was he was in the confession dial to confess possibly his name to allow Gallifrey to escape. Because, you know, it's just a bit of a coincidence that he punches out of the confession dial into Gallifrey. So... Yeah. And does that mean... Well, we know from the next time trailer, or was it the TV trailer, either or, that a shielder is in this episode, so did she make a trip to Gallifrey to give them the confession dial? And if so, why is it just in the middle of a desert? 
Anyway. Um, uh, there's a comment missing from Mark Joseph Keen. Um, because Silent Gamer 2015 replied to Mark Joseph Keen. Um, but yeah, I, I can't see that comment. Sorry, Mark Joseph Keen, if you deleted it, uh, please let me know what you said, because it's not, it's not real fun to do this. But apparently, whatever they said, uh... It was a good point because Silent Gamma 2015 says, oh, good point. And in the trailer, we saw me and they did a regeneration, maybe making her a time lady or Rani. And me is half human, half technology, two warriors. She could be the one to rule Gallifrey. This is getting too deep for me. Um, I addressed that before. Um, see, this is why. I mean, why would me regenerate? Why? Why would she regenerate? But yeah, I don't know what Mark Joseph Keane said in it. Yeah. Oh well. Uh, next one comes from Turner Deal. Tur Turner Deal? I'm sorry, I don't know. Um, in reply to Silent Gamer, the Doctor is not half human and half Time Lord. It was told in audio dramas that it was only a trick to cheat the Master. See, um, yeah. I believe it was a comic book, at least from what my knowledge is. I could be wrong. Uh, for anyone who has absolute knowledge of it, please let me know. So, yeah. Uh, next comment comes from Chang Chen in response to Electro Mas Electric Mass. Uh, sorry, Electric Maestro. If I was him, I probably would have left because of boredom. Lol. Yeah, um, could have been a combination of things, but apparently it was fear. Electric Maestro. Also, I wish that This Is Gallifrey would have played. Yes. Oh, fuck, yeah, I love that song. Um, for anyone who doesn't know, please go and do yourself a favour and look up This Is Gallifrey. I believe the full title was This Is Gallifrey, My Heart, My Home? Our heart, our home. Something like that. But if you type in Doctor Who, this is Gallifrey, it should come up. And it's a great song. It is potentially one of my favourites. Uh, favourite tracks from New Who. So yeah, do yourself a favour, go check that out. And Chuck, Nor Chuck Norris. Hi, Chuck. Uh, replied to Silent Gamer and said, he said they had it wrong. And it wasn't half Dalek, which would leave only the Time Lord part. And he said it was him. Oh, yeah, that is a good point. He left out the Dalek thing. Yep. <sighs> mm. Also, just a little thing. He said that the Daleks would never allow themselves to become half human. Or, sorry, not half human. More than half, you know, anything else adding to them. So does that mean that when... <sighs> were they consenting when Davros did what he did? Or did Davros just do, you know, become half Time Lord, half Khaled, and that just affected the other Daleks? Did he know... Uh, I think he knew what was going on, but did the Daleks? Because... I don't know. Oh, well. But, yeah, um... That is a good point. Yeah. Good point, Chuck. Uh, then, moving on to the next comment. Uh, Kaye Sensei? K I A I S E N S E I. Sorry, again. Sorry if I butcher anything here. Um, so, they left a link to TARDIS Wikia. On the Doctor's mother. I haven't actually read it yet. Um, but yeah, that's going into a whole bunch of background that I just don't want to. Um, because the show is called Doctor Who. 
That is one reason why they heavily changed Sylvester McCoy's character in the final seasons to make him more mysterious because they felt you knew too much about the Doctor's backstory. And that's why they quickly undid that whole Fata Sigma thing um, when they revealed his name was Fata Sigma, but then it was just kind of like that was his old name in, like, nickname. That's what I meant. Yeah, that was his nickname. Okay. Uh, Michael Pruden said, same reaction. Watch the TV trailer, Weeping Angels, Clara, Old Tardis. Yes. Uh, was Clara in the trailer? Shit, I think Clara was in there, but oh well. Yes, yeah, she was. You get, like, Capaldi holding her hand or something. So, yeah. And then Thomas McDonald replied, not an old TARDIS, a different one. We saw a clip of a TARDIS with a working chameleon circuit flying through space. Yeah. Um, now, what I think... I think that Michael and Thomas are on two different wavelengths here. What I think Michael is referring to is there's a shot of Capaldi in the classic console room, which a lot of people had speculated on that we'd be seeing because um, they have them at the expo. And... And they have, um, they did that trailer thing with him in all of them. So, I think it's highly likely we'll see the old console room. I'm not saying it's like he's going to be inside the first Doctor, second Doctor's, whatever Doctor's TARDIS. But he's more than likely going to be in that console room. We also do see the uh, TARDIS just as is. The cylindrical TARDIS, we see one of those in the trailers. So, yeah. And we see, we do see Weeping Angels, which um, I knew they were going to be in the season because they kind of announced it. Well, not announced it, but they... Some fucking magazine did a um, article. Yeah, some magazine did an article. And it had... Um, so, the Doctor fights enemies such as Daleks, Cybermen, Z uh, did they say Zygons? They said something and Weeping Angels. So, yeah. Um, also, there is one part in the trailer where <sighs> I think it's called a slider from what I've heard. And it's basically, I guess it's some sort of robot statue thing, maybe. It's basically dressed, it's Time Lord clothes, but with no face. And it shows holograms. There's one in the trailer, and I think it looks an awful lot like David Tennant. But then for a brief part, it switches and it looks like Matt Smith. So, who knows? Anyway, uh, well, that's the last of the comments. If any more pop up, if enough pop up, I'll probably do a second part to this and just read the comments. Uh, I want to keep... I want to just put up some solo videos on this channel just to keep our viewers entertained for the week um, because the only video that was this week was the um, reaction video. Um, so I'm going to throw up a few of these probably depending on the comments we get. Uh, and then I'll also probably comment on this. Uh, read the comments on this as well. Um, so I reckon that'll do it, guys. Um, I guess we can just, I can just update you with a few bits of content that will be happening. If you have any suggestions as to content that we can do on the show, please let us know because we're approaching that slump where things are going to go down here until the next season of Doctor Who or the Christmas special. And then probably it'll be smooth sailing, uh, until the next season. <laughs> of Doctor Who, because that's the only thing... See, Doctor Who, we know, is safe to react to, because we've thrown up all these reactions. The one time we went out of our comfort zone and reacted to The Flash, we got a copyright strike. So, don't count on too many um, other reactions to... Uh, I mean, we'll probably react to trailers... I'm not a big trailer guy. I don't like to watch trailers. Typically, I only watch, like, the first trailer that's released. 
get a gist of the movie, go, yep, okay, I'm excited, go. <laughs> because, you know, I don't want to get spoiled for the, or too spoiled for the movie, which sometimes does happen in trailers. <sighs> and then oftentimes they show scenes that aren't even in the movie. <laughs> Amazing Spider-Man 2. Mm. <sighs> so, yeah, um, let us know. Let us know. I'm stuck in the zone. It's because Tim ain't here and can't live without the co-host. Oh, well. Let me know what you think. Um, and we'll read. See? I did it again. I can't get out of the mode. Uh, I'll read your comments on the next show, which if we get enough of them, yep, we'll do that. Send in questions if you want. I love a little bit of Q&A. Um, we'll be doing the series recap. Getting Phoenix Fire in for that one as well. Um, at the end, um, December 16th, I keep plugging this date. Um, yeah, I keep plugging this, this date. Um, December 16th is when the first video will be uploaded to the Babylon 5 channel, and that's going to be the, um, Star Wars movie rankings. Yes, um, that'll be myself, Tim, and Phoenix Fire. Those are the fr we are the free regulars for that channel. We'll always be there, and then we'll have two special guests on the show. Well, not special guests. Well, I guess they're special. They're special to me, damn it. Um, but yeah, friends of ours who will just get on the show to discuss whatever we're discussing. Um, one person who's in at the moment could change is James Kelly. You've heard, you've more than likely heard us talk about him before. Um, we've tried to get him on several times, but certain things have stopped that from happening. Um, but yeah, hopefully he can join us. Um, and then the fifth member is still being decided. Um, so yeah. Gonna bring this video to a close. No, sorry, a few more things to plug. I am currently in the works of shooting a review. I have already shot one review and handed it to the Tim to edit because he does a good job. Um, so he's editing that currently. That probably won't be up till next week when he comes back from Melbourne so that he can, you know, finish it, give it back to me, and then I can upload it. And I'm not gonna ask him to edit it in Melbourne because I'm not a fool. Um, so yeah, um, that's uh, it's a comparative review of all four of the Twelfth Doctor figures, five point five inch line figures, the Collector series. Mm -hmm. um, so all four of them compared them, had fun doing it, and I'm in this. It, uh, that's going to be a new series called Lumpy Talks Toys. Uh, that's episode one. Episode two is of the DC Collectibles. Um, Batman the Animated Series, Batman, um, shot the packaging segment earlier today, then unbox the figure, and after this I'm probably going to sit down and review the figure, um, which will be fun, because I've had a brief look at it, it's a really nice figure. So yeah guys, um, we're in the countdown, one, well, less than one, less than one year to go until Doctor Who Wanderers on Earth is on YouTube. Yes! Um, for those who don't know, it's a fan film that we're going to be doing. We haven't started filming yet, which is pretty dangerous. Um, we haven't even started building the props yet, which is bad, because we need to build a fucking TARDIS. So, <laughs> so uh, yeah, and we need to do editing and shit, which is going to take ages, but whatever. I am committed 100% to getting this up and running and off the ground. It started off as a dream back in 2013. Um, and it's evolved and it's become so much better than I ever expected that it could, that it could be. We've got a stellar cast. It's only uh, like five of us, but it's, it's gonna be immaculate. It's gonna be so much fun to film, to edit, just and just to get to you guys. Um, 
So I'm looking forward to showing off that. I'm probably going to do a trailer um, and release that probably a month or two before the release of the film. Um, so yeah, <laughs> just plugging all of the shits. Go check out my, ch my solo channel, link in the description. Check out the Tim's channels, links in the description. Check out Phoenix Fire's um, channel um, and... Yeah, just check out all. Uh, check out our Facebook page. Message us there. Get talking. Um, yeah, but yep, I've babbled on. Wink for long enough. I shall see you in the next video, which could be in a few days, or it could be Sunday when we sit down and do the reaction video. It depends on how many comments we get. So yeah, guys, I thank each and every one of you for watching. Uh, please like, subscribe, share, all that cool shit. And until next time, take care. See ya. Goodbye.